Write the IUPAC name of the following species. Right. Sir, can you move the phone closer to the board? Right, the name.
first. Check. Don't copy. First you write the name and check with my links. This is a negative dilated ligand. What is the charge? Charge is two, two minus. minus. So how many are there? Sorry, sorry. It should be three. Okay. Uh, correct. Three here. Here it is. Three into minus six. Na. This is plus three. So what is the oxidation state? Three. Sorry, I forgot to put three here. Very sorry. Everybody is keeping quiet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finish. After that, did you compare? Did you write it by yourself? You have copied from. As I see here. Here you see. Cyanide, nit nitro, these are ambidentate ligands. 
in this case when i write this one see i told you that cyanide can bind from here if it binds from here then we call it cyanido and if it binds from here it's called isocyanide nitrite see if it binds from here it is actually this days according to ipc we call it nit <clears throat> nitro and if it binds from oxygen we call it nitrito but in your textbook they did not change the name so if you don't write according to your textbook they will give you zero so according to old this the name is not being changed in your book if it binds from nitro then i will write first nitrate here in that case i have to write here nitrito n and if it binds through oxygen see here then we will call it nitrito o because of that see here i have written dibromido dichlorido dinitrito n please remember if it is molecule is written like this and if it molecule is written like this then i'll write see here i what did i write tetramin nitrito o cobalt three please remember hmm. but according to present iupc system if it binds from this we call it nitro and if it binds from oxygen we call it nitrito but anyway as it the name is not been changed in your textbook so you have to write according to your textbook understood ওটা See here, it is NO2, N, N is here.
Right. I give you something. Do you start sleeping or what? Hmm? Here. Push the ball. Tetra. Start with A, na. Double M. I am tetra mean. Then this comes this. Bromido. Then, so it is a single name, eh? but I cannot write it further. Na? He has no species there. So I see here is bonded to N. So it is nitrito N according to your book. Otherwise, if you ask me to write, I'll write nitro. Nitrito N. Over three. See, nothing is there. Counter line is not there because of that. I write here I. Okay. Then this. Penta equa. Then this is called nitrosyl. Nitrosyl. Iron. Oxidation structure of iron. Here is two. Then I will give it gap because anion and cation are supposed to be written separately. I told you what is this. This is nothing but brown ring test. Okay. Now this is ethane one two diamond. How many are there? Three. So it will come as stress. Why? Because it is in one, two diamine, already one multiple die is there. So we'll not write again, try outside. We'll write here now. Tris. Then it should be inside bracket. It's in one comma two die. I mean. I'm supposed to write cobalt, cross space is there. Cobalt three. Then I'll give a gap for counter ion. Always for counter ion gap should be given. This is the counter ion. So I'll write here now. Potassium, then gap. Then tetra chlorido. Nickel is plus two here. Three plus two minus four plus two. What do you do? Nickel 8, 2. This one. Penta amine. This is carbonate This is cobalt. Cobalt. Then you will give it. So counter is missing. So right now here, I. See here. This is what is the oxidation state of this? This is three, and this is two. So it is when iron is in the negative state, negative iron, we call it ferrite. And when it is positive, then I put it iron. So this is important for your exam. Iron three. Then hexa cyanido. Very two. Now this tetra equa di florido cobalt. Cobalt C will be small. This then counter and is chloride. I'll give it gap. Right now, this 
Okay, now see here. In this cation and anion, both are coordination entities. What is then see here? <coughs> it is plus three, this is minus three. See. Ammonia is a neutral ligand, and this is a negative ligand. So it is minus six. Okay. Now, in this case, <coughs> in this case is zero. So what will happen here? What is the oxidation state here? Because oxidation state of both of the charges for both of them will be same because nothing is there. See here. If they are different, then it will change. See, when they are different, it changes. So we know it has to be go for a cross multiplication like this. So in that case, it is this is three, this is also three. So we'll write now here. Hexa. There will not be any gap. Hexa. I mean cobalt. Hexa cyanido chromate see here ammonia is zero and this is minus one all right so in that case what will be oxidation state oxidation state of platinum is plus two this is plus two and this is also plus two why plus two because see here, when it becomes plus two and this is minus four, so you'll get minus minus two. So minus two and plus two huh, cancels and make it neutral. So this is tetra I mean. Platinum two tetra chlorido platinate. Same is the case here. It is diamine silver one. Diamine. See here, silver, when it is positive, we call it silver. And when it is negative, we call it argentate. Di chlorido argentate one. Compare and find how many you have written correctly. Eleven. One more thing I should write here. It is. This. See here, carbon monoxide is a neutral ligand. So the oxidation state of nickel is zero. This is metal. 
So name is tetra carbonyl nickel. Acha, Dusty, are you there? Okay, now we'll come to a very important part of it. Is the isomerization. Please remember, inorganic compounds generally do not exhibit isomerization. Because ionic compounds they don't exhibit. Isomerization will occur only when there is a covalent bond is there. Because covalent bond are always have a fixed direction in the space. So organic compounds have covalent bonds because of that organic compounds. So isomerism. Coordination compounds are also having the ligands are joined to the central metal atom through coordinate covalent bond. It's covalent bond only, sigma bond. Because of that, they show isomerism, just like organic compounds. <clears throat> so it is the property of the covalent bonded molecule to show isomerism, whether it is organic or inorganic. So we'll go for isomerization. Okay. <clears throat> No, we'll write isomerism. Or we'll write here isomers. Okay. So <clears throat> we know a molecule can show you two types of isomers. One where they'll have bonds at different positions. Second is the case where you find bonds are all right, but they are placement or direction in the space is different. Okay, in first case, we call them as structural isomers. And in second case, we call them as the stereo isomers. Okay. Now, see here, we'll write here molecule. Okay. <clears throat> no, we'll not write here molecule. We write here coordination compounds. Coordinate compounds. See. See where the bonding connectivity. Morning reactive body of the Kiska sat kiska bond hole. If the bonding connectivity changes, that is different. So, kya is our jabata? We have here now structural isomer. Uh, job same hota hai. Some look at camel time. We get here stereo isomers. See, this is my finger. In this case, what happened? If the if I take one picture of this one, it's different. But when I spread it, see, I did not discard my fingers. Only that direction I have changed it. So this is called the stereo isomers. But suppose if I remove one finger and put it here, yeah, still my hand is having five fingers, but I have dislocated one from its original position and put it in a new position. So this is called structural isomers. Okay. Now, my heart to tear out here. Now see here, 
structural isomers we can have different compounds. <coughs> First one you call it ionization. <laughs> Second one you call it linkage. Third one you call it solvate isomers. Or we call it hydrate isomers. Because in most of the time we are using water as a solvent. Hydrate. And last one you call it coordination isomers. In stereo isomer, we will have two geometrical isomers, and this one will be. Optical isomers. I will leave. Then I will do discuss it separately. Cut up, shut up, all these things. Acha, Eugenia. Hello. Yes, sir. Christmas marketing finish. No, sir. Then when you will go and buy? People have already bought one. First, we are going to go for ionization isomers. Try to understand. Huh? So, all of you now you know different types of games are there. Huh? In football, how many players are there from each team they play? Jiden? Hello? Eugenia, how many players are there in football game? Eugenia? See, in a football <coughs> field, it's 11. Ah, are you sure? I See, the goal post, one person is there. We call goalkeeper. Now that there, how many are there? Okay. See here. <clears throat> this is the from one side. But outside the field, do you not find some players are sitting? Do you find? Hmm? So if anyone, when any one of them is performance is not up to the mark participants, one of them goes inside and this fellow comes out. So similarly, you'll find. In coordination definition, I have already given you. Uh, I think I have coordination chemistry note. I have did I post it? One son. Oh, one son. Don't reply. I will not send anything. Okay, now see here. In this case, coordination chemistry, you will find suppose I have taken. Not yet. Sir. I have not sent, no? Nah? Okay. So in quantity chemistry, suppose you will find I have taken a complex like this. 
Okay, and its counter is sulfate. Hmm. <coughs> See here. Sorry, I made a mistake. See here. So in this case, what has happened? These two bromine are bonded to platinum. So what is the structure now here? Say it is like this. Okay, now you have here sulfate. But mind it, sulfate is also a ligand. So when sulfate is ligand, this sulfate can replace these two bromine, and the both of them will go and see it's outside. Okay, so how it will go? Weapon, see here. You know. This is the structure of sulfate. See here. And this BR2 will come out. So what has happened now? Molecular formula is same. But the ions are, counter ions are different. Okay, so this type of isomerism is called ionization isomers. So, in that case, what should I write? Okay, I'll write this molecule here PTBR2. NH34. And this is this. And this one is what? PT NH34 sulfate and BR. So what should I write? The coordination compounds in which the counter anions, means what? These are the anions, are also potential ligands. The coordination compounds in which the counter ions are also potential ligands and can replace the coordinated ligand within the square bracket, what you call it? Coordination sphere. Give rise to ionization isomers. This is the example. This is the example. Okay. So I'll write this example again. Yeah, I will tell P T P T P R two N H P four. Okay, what is the name here? Tetra amine di 
Bromido, I'll write this at huh? I'll write the other name also. Tetramine dibromido. Platinum. See here, is this? In this case, what will happen? What is the oxidation state of this one? Platinum will be four. Because minus two, plus four, two plus will be outside, will be replaced by sulfate to minus. Platinum, four. I will give a gap here for sulfate. And what is this ionization isomer? This will be PT NH3 4 sulfate Br2. So, come on, Nikitan Tetra. Mean this is called sulfato sulfato platinum four di bromide. Now see this is counter end, so I cannot call it bromido, I will die bromide. And these are the example. Okay, so I've showed you how it happened. So this is these are the. Ajay, by the way, I like to tell you one thing. Uh, I know the quadratic chemistry. I cannot go fast. If you want fast, then I can do it, but you will not understand anything. Ajay, see, twenty fourth, I will not take any class. Your Christmas holiday starts. Enjoy, because you do not know next year where you will be. And uh, I will take your class. Condition chemistry is a very big chapter, but the mark is very, very less. As per the previous distribution, mark was only three. But so many questions can be asked. Okay. You know what they'll ask you? They'll write, write the ionization isomer of, they'll give you this molecule. So write the IUPC name of ionization isomer of this one. In that case, you are not supposed to write the name of this. See, ionization isomer of this one is this. So you have to first write the formula, then you have to write the name. If you write the name of this one is zero. Because this isomer of this one is this one. Once you write the formula, you get half marks and you Write the name, you get half mark. So by only one mark question, they ask you two things, whether you know how to write the formula of the molecule and name of the molecule, please remember. Now, second question, which is very popular. They will ask you, how can you distinguish the two isomers of this? So let me write. Right, like this. How can you distinguish the following pairs of Coordination you write this one PT BR two NH three four SO and PT NH Four. And so four. Distinction means you have to do some chemical reaction. Hmm. You cannot see. Chemical reaction means what? How to distinguish? 
in this process, either there may be a change of color in the reaction or evolution of some gas or some precipitate. So, how, what you will do now? For this one, you have to do some chemical test. As you have not done any chemistry practical this time, so let me take. So, what is the answer? All right, here. Yeah. All right, here now. Silver nitrate. Yes. See, if you add silver nitrate solution to aqueous solution of this, this two. So, you should be a little clever in your exam. Always you write one and go. So that you don't have to write the formula. Suppose by writing formula, you make this then gone case. So, if I add the silver nitrate solution to the aqueous solution of these two compounds, see, we know silver nitrate reacts with the halides to give you a precipitate. But sulfate will not give. So, we'll write now here. Addition of Aqueous solution of silver nitrate produce a white precipitate. Solution two. Two produces a white precipitate. Why one? Means what, friends? I'm you don't have to write the equation, but you should know. See here. Possibility we always show but down here. And this one is not going to produce any precipitate. So you know which is what B. Barium chloride solution. Here, please write separated solution text. Huh? <clears throat> Addition of Aqueous solution of barium chloride to one produces a white precipitate. Why two? Does not. So, what will happen here? PT BR2 
NH3 pore sulfate. To that, when you add barium chloride, it will give you PP Br2 NH3 pore Cl2 and you get a white precipitate of This is very important for exam. Okay? Thank you. 